Sad for me, the extreme heat right now taking a toll on animals across where we live. We're mm -hmm. talking about chickens, extreme measures just to keep livestock alive. Yeah, KETK's Tori Bean explains how the scorching heat is affecting those chickens across East Texas. Katie Struhall has been raising chickens in Bullard since 2020. Unfortunately, the intense heat this summer has killed six of her chickens. Six is a lot to lose. Katie Struhall and her children have grown attached to the hens. So when one dies, it's like losing a family member. I put tons of shade in here. I keep adding shade. Every time I lose a bird, I do something more. But um, mainly they just don't eat and they stay in the shade. And what makes it hard is because they'll dehydrate because they won't get out to drink. That's why she's adding extra precautions to help keep the chickens cool. And there was one we lost that I've had. She was one of my originals that I got in 2020. So that was kind of rough. Owner of Circle C Farm and Ranch, Steve Carpenter, says keeping your chickens hydrated in this heat is key to their survival. Keep them hydrated and keep plenty of electrolytes in front of them, fresh feed and fresh water every day, and just kind of keep an eye on your birds. Some ways these chickens are staying cool are by having extra cool water, shade, and even a box fan to help ventilate the air. They have a hard time getting the air to them because they can't move around a whole lot. It is important to watch out for signs that your chickens are overheating. Chickens are really lethargic, laying around, not moving much, or if you have them panting and gasping a whole lot. Struha even providing frozen treats to keep her hens cool. These carrots, apples, watermelon. You'll be a chicken's friend with that. Doing all she can to keep her hens healthy in the heat. Katie Struhall says, please remember if you're hot, they're hotter. So try to leave water out for all wildlife to drink in this heat wave. In Bullard, Tori Bean, K2K News. Keep